All right, quick tip time. How do I make my ends on my fuel lines? Can't take credit for this one either. This one I actually learned from a trick from somebody else. Tried it out, absolutely love it. So um, let me show you. So first off, you could see that we have our fuel filler dot in there. That is a magnetic fuel filler dot. Um, so that thing attaches right into the side like that, like the appearance. And then over here, if you look really close at the fuel lines, what I use are pieces of fuel line for a clamp. So um, you don't want to use diagonal cutters on fuel line. You always want to use an X-Acto knife. So how do I make those ends? So let me cut you down here so we can see. So I'm going to take a little bit of my fuel line here. And I'm going to just cut off probably about three, four millimeters worth of this stuff. Like so. All right. And now um, I am going to take a pair of um, expanding hemostats like this. And I'm literally just going to push this end over the hemostats. Like so. Of course, it's Tigon tubing. It's going to be tight, but you can do this. This works with uh, nitro fuel and stuff like that, too. So, so now you can just take this and squeeze it. You can see the squeeze. And literally, I'm going to try not to rip it. I'm going to expand it right over my other fuel line. And then once it's like that, wiggle and pull that stuff off. So basically, I made a collar. Um, now I'll go ahead and we'll take this out so you guys can see this. So I'm going to pull my whole fuel tank assembly out so you guys can see that. A little bit of good old slobber for lubricant. And what I'm actually making here is my, my vent line for this tank. So... Once you have it good and slobbered up, now you're just going to go ahead and take your fuel line and you're going to literally wiggle and push. And yes, there's going to be some tension there. So this way you are not cutting into the fuel line and compromising it. And this stuff is so tight. That you do not have to worry about that stuff coming loose and there you see so super sealed okay um but anyway there you go so that's my trick on fuel lines um again using the husqvarna ceramic clunk on the inside of there and i like the clear fuel tanks so you can actually see that nothing is broke on the inside so let's get back to the time lapse All right, guys, so what we are going to do now is we are going to seal the what's really called the engine plate or very short version of an engine box being part of really the firewall here. So if you want to consider this firewall, that's fine. But you can see this came from the factory nice and sealed. This didn't. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to do that. So what we do here to seal that firewall or engine box, I'm going to get myself some 30 minute epoxy some regular rubbing alcohol and a mixer stick and finally an acid brush. So you're going to mix your epoxy here. I use again, 30 minutes. You're going to mix even parts of this stuff. Get this thing cut open a little bit more.
so just a little bit short of 10 milliliters. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff mixed up. Again, some 30 minute epoxy. And once this is all mixed up, I am going to add rubbing alcohol to it. And I like to do about a 50-50 mix. So whatever I have for epoxy, I will try and add about that much of rubbing alcohol to thin this stuff out. So we're going to go pretty close to the top with this. Again, I'll take my mixing stick. And all I'm really doing is just really kind of thinning this stuff out. And you know it's all mixed in when it's kind of dissolved. There's no big like clumps. I like to use 30 minutes because we are going to do this whole engine box. It's going to take a little bit of time and I don't want it to dry and get clumpy. So now we are going to take our acid brush and just literally come up here and try not to get any of this on the engine. And we are just literally going to paint it and this seals that wood off so we don't have any issues here to the other side.
All right, guys, there you see it. So very easy task. And that's all you want to do is you want to make it wet. That stuff will dry off and um, you'll see it still have that nice varnish to it and it's all sealed. So back to the time lapse.